Humans that are watching Studio Insights here with Bell Vista Studios, thank you for choosing to learn with us. This is Studio Insights is an opportunity for us as a team to ask each other questions and learn from each other. It's like our dedicated development time as a team. We just do it where you get to join and hopefully learn through osmosis and all that jazz. So who has a question? Well, we probably all have a question. Oh shit, I didn't think of one. Okay, I'm not going first then. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you go first, Donna. Okay. <laughs> um, my question is for both of you. So I'd love an answer from both of you. Uh, because we're like getting into starting projects, what I've been trying to do recently is get like really, really inspired by like cool learning experiences out in the world. And I have started seeing some like through our Facebook group. It's been awesome to see examples come through. But I just wanted to find out from both of you, to help me like figure out what cool experiences we could create. What's the best learning experience you've had in your life and what made it that way? Like, why did you love it so much? <laughs> Feel what you should have you given me time to prepare. <laughs> <laughs> What's like a memorable learning experience where you're like, that was really cool. Like I learned something and it was awesome. Oh God. I'll go first, Vic, if you want, while you're trying to think of something. Well, I can't listen to you and think at the same time. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then I'm also patiently until you've thought. <laughs> um, like, honestly, what's actually coming to mind, and I think it's just because I was going through a thread on one of our LinkedIn things around how long e-learning should be. And um, the, there's a big discussion thread going on, like, you know, should it be two minutes? It needs to be space learning and all this like random stuff around like the terminology that comes up in the industry. And like, it can't just be off a one-off learning event and all this sort of stuff. And I guess like, there's no like real, for me, it's not about the, the best way to learn. It's the reason for learning mm -hmm. and it's the motivation behind the learning. And it, it's kind of like more of a human thing is like the reason the biggest learnings or the best learnings I've had in my life come from pain. Don't let that freaking pain happen again. Okay, what do you need to do? You know, so that reflection was, uh, there was strong motivation. I created the space to reflect and do something different. So I actually think, for the best learning experiences, we need to really understand who we're designing for and create the right motivation for them to care. Um, and I think then what that comes into is how do you stir emotion to make it compelling to jolt someone into action? Uh, so I don't know what that is because I feel like it would be contextual depending on the topic or whatever, but I just think the most meaningful, memorable, impactful learning experiences for me personally are because the motivation was very strong to change something. Mm. And like, it could be, no, I said pain earlier, but it could be, I'm about to go into a conversation that's difficult for me, like, because I don't have the confidence or the skills and it's in two hours time. So I'm on Google watching YouTube videos at double the speed and writing little notes for myself, you know? So what is the motivation for me? That's like the most important part that I'd share. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Have you ever been like given a learning solution that wasn't self-driven? Like I'm thinking like you was <laughs> that learning, but have you ever like, yeah, received it and been like, Oh, I get it now. Like I didn't know I needed it, but I do. Oh, that I get after that I feel like I need it. Um, what motivation, like through the beginning of the learning experience, because it showed you why it was important? Nothing's coming to mind. The example that comes to mind where it's like, I didn't know I need the learning and I learned something by participating in it might be like, for example, a conversation that I have with either of you. Mm. And then you know, you tell me something and I'm like, 
oh, that's new to me or uh, that's a new perspective that I need to consider and do something different. I didn't realize I needed it, but you brought that awareness to me. Could that I'm not giving you that? I'm not giving you very tangible. <laughs> could, do you think that could have come from anyone or is it because you trust us? that? Yeah, see, it's all coming down to that kind of human yeah. stuff for me. Um, it's, there was definitely, it's the motivation again. I care. You've told me something that's important to you. And now I care about you. I see that I need to do something in response to that for whatever reason. And then I take action on it. And even like, I guess like this is one like aspect of life, but you know, sometimes I might have an inkling on something and I'm like, mm, that's probably something that's important to either of you. And I don't do anything about it for a while. And then you'll bring it up to me. And then I'll be like, okay, time to act. Mm. Yeah, cool. All the secrets coming out. <laughs> so motivation is a big thing. Motivation is a big thing for me to learn and do something different. Yeah, cool. So it's like, yeah, either self-motivation or someone who is important to you, like brings that's, up. That's still self-motivation, right? Because I care about the person. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I wonder how we could replicate that in learning solutions. I guess it's like if the learner has a good relationship with their supervisor and their supervisor like tells them that it's important to them for them to do it, that could increase motivation potentially. Yeah. Something to think about anyway. Yeah. Uh, coaching course, like, sorry, coaching conversations, one-on-ones with their supervisor. Yep. If they like and respect their supervisor. Yeah, true. Well, I think like we've definitely done it. Like when you think of the, um, even the health and safety courses, like when you start with the why being like, do you, if you care about your teammates and you don't want them to be injured or like killed at work, like this module will help you avoid. So I think there's like tapping into those sort of motivations is something that we do do a little bit of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, cool. Good answer. Thank you. Was that everything, Kim? Yeah. well <laughs> before Kim answered I would have answered completely differently <laughs> no but answer that <laughs> no well, I was just trying to think of like cool solutions I've seen because I feel like I haven't really done like thinking of the modules I've actually had to sit down and do for work in previous jobs I couldn't tell you like anything about them like I assume I've done like health and safety and that kind of thing but don't know what I learned, don't know what they looked like. Definitely didn't think they were cool. Like they were not memorable to me at all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I agree with what Kim was saying, like the learning for me, I've learned more from like just having a conversation with you two than I think I would learn in like 50 modules from my previous jobs. <laughs> no offense to them, but <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't like, I haven't had a memorable learning experience like working and like having the conversation with you guys. Um, just in a solution for another job before. Um, so I think, yeah, what Kim was saying, like having, I don't know, like it is my motivation, it won't, I won't get it from like <laughs> a module usually unless it's, I'm guessing done well, which I haven't experienced uh, myself yeah. as a learner anyway, like what we design, I think, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I've like seen other cool solutions since, again, since I've started working here, like the stuff, um, things that came out of the show. Yeah. Things that come out of the show still, things that we've made, like there is lots of good stuff out there. Um, but yeah, as a learner, I wouldn't, I honestly can't tell you <laughs> of a memorable solution I've had. Yeah, our personal experiences, I'm the same <laughs> as Vic. We haven't been wowed, but like yeah. I've definitely seen really good examples out in the, the world. Yeah. Just yeah. haven't from a learner perspective more of a learning designer going that's amazing yeah yeah all right awesome thank you <laughs> motivation is the key there mm. focus on getting them motivated and understand the why and the rest will come together if you do a good job i created it. <laughs> cool thank you Vic, question um, well, my question is for Hannah. Um, 
and I guess it can kind of tie into your question. Uh, <laughs> so if you have seen, like I'm guessing you have also seen some really cool solutions out there that you've loved. When you've seen those, like what's your process for trying to apply that to a project that you're actually working on? Because I feel like I've seen really cool solutions, but then I'm like, I don't actually know how I would ever use that myself, like whether it's like the topic or mm. I don't know, like some topics just do seem more interesting than other ones. But then I see like solutions where it's a really a topic I would consider really boring, but like they make it fun. Yeah. But still, when it comes to like me trying to come up with that idea, I would struggle. But yeah. yeah, how do you see yourself like transferring the cool stuff you see into something Absolutely. that you're working on? Yeah, because I'm still trying to figure that out. Like I've, I've been saying to Kim, like there's all these cool examples I see, but I struggle sometimes to like create our own modules like the same way. So I like mm -hmm. I'm still trying to figure that out. But I think like the way that we're doing it is we have our inspiration board. So I just make sure that anything I do find, I put it in that board so it's not just lost. Like I'm not just relying on my memory to remember it when a project comes up. Um, and then when I'm storyboarding, it would be like I have done it in the past and I want to continue to do it is like looking through that list when I'm storyboarding and thinking about like if anything in that storyboard like brings up any ideas relevant to what I'm creating. Um, the other thing that I've been trying, like how I showed you guys the jungle module and like the under the water one, mm -hmm. I think like just experimenting and actually like trying to create some of the things that I see and being more practical about it has helped it become a bit more real and I can see how we could use it for our own projects. So that as well. Um, I think that's it really. That's sort of what I'm doing at the moment, keeping like the list of everything, going through it when I storyboard and practicing like actually creating things. And I think even talking to you about it, Vic, like with the dial, being like, let's like do this, like let's actually like mm -hmm. make this happen. And like you and I, you did it, but like me seeing it come to life and like QAing it, like that was really cool. So I think just like taking actions like that and just being like, let's mm -hmm. like let's try it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, have anything to say about that, Kim? <laughs> <laughs> the process of remembering cool stuff to apply to your projects. That was your question, wasn't it? Yeah, and just like knowing how to, how you could apply it, even if it might be a completely different like subject matter and stuff. Mm. I think I really like our inspiration board that we have going. So basically it's a Google doc and every time we see a cool example from whatever, we just collect it in there. And I don't remember things like, so that's a really great thing for me to get into the habit of going through that. And we did it today, like brainstorm, I need it. And as soon as I saw some of the stuff, I was like, oh yeah, now I can use my brain creatively, for that, whatever that word is. <laughs> um, and so I think, yeah, my for the process, my first thing will be go to that inspiration board and think outside of my, get into that state of creativity. And then it's about um, being clear on like, what is the what is the learning outcome or what is the intent of this screen? What am I trying to achieve with this particular little breaking it down into micro things mm -hmm. that you're focusing on, not necessarily the whole course and then going, OK, well, matching. This is the intent of the screen. This is what I'm trying to get someone to do differently. Was there anything in that inspiration board that I could apply as a transferable solution for this particular thing? That would be just the simplest. I think it's really just um, prioritizing the time to mm. do that. Mm. Yeah. And like we have been putting that time into, you know, the storyboarding time includes brainstorming time. Um, the development time includes creativity time. And we have access to each other to book in and go, I need a brainstorm, which is what you did today, Vic. Like, I need yeah. you guys to help me brainstorm for a solution. So yeah prioritizing the time to do it because we we can do it when we just give ourselves the time but we're very quick to just jump in and be task orientated as humans mm -hmm. I think so yeah yeah so yeah just get inspiration in front of you and then break it down to a micro task and then look for the transferable 
application and real world it, my brain always for me is like the one thing that I hold myself accountable with is like how do I replicate the real world mm. and then sometimes you can't I'm like well what's the next best thing and I just mm. keep working down from that but that one is the one question I ask myself that makes me do better learning solutions I think yeah thanks good question <laughs> yeah it is um, okay, so my questions for both of you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's really complex. Nah, it's a nice question. Um, we're officially five years old now. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's like something to be really proud of. So you've both been with us for like multiple years. What are your proudest memories or moments? I'm not good with memory things. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Where to begin? <laughs> Weirdly, one that stands out to me is well, it's not weird, but it might not seem like <laughs> super significant to you guys, but. When we, I won't say the client's name, but we got an email back from a client and they were like, wow, this is like incredible. And it was around like animations that we've done in a RISE course. I was like super proud of that course. Like I just thought it looked like incredible. And I remember because you girls were working on it and then I saw it like separately and I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. So I think that specific course and like how happy the client was, that was a really like proud moment from my perspective. Um, yeah, it's hard. I feel like like I am proud of pretty much every project we hand over. <laughs> like there's every now and then they'll do something and I'm like, oh, maybe I could have like done better in this aspect or like I know that there's like things I can improve on. But generally like I <laughs> put in the work and like I'm proud of what the output is yeah. and like what I've contributed kind of thing to anything, like whether it's a project or like our own internal stuff or like these videos like anything like <laughs> I know that I'm trying so like I'm proud of that just generally mm. I don't I don't know I mean it de like I feel like the projects that we've handed over and we have gotten like really good feedback or lots of really like because we don't always hear back a lot or I don't know different clients have different like levels of <laughs> them saying this is great could be like the most amazing thing ever or it might just be something that they say, you know, like, um, so I feel like the ones that we have gotten like lots of that kind of feedback on or like really lengthy, thank you, this is amazing kind of feedback, like they always stand out a little bit more, I guess. Mm. But mm. I don't, like, I'm still proud of it without that. <laughs> yeah. Like it's a nice like validation, but yeah, I'm proud of what we've worked on regardless. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> that's a good place to be like proud of your work without requiring validation of others like that's pretty special yeah like it is nice to get that but if we don't get it I don't sit there thinking like I didn't do a good job on that for <laughs> I love that yeah that's it, cool sometimes <laughs> that's really cool um Yeah, I can't even like narrow down, like even with the stuff that we share on our social media and that, like we get lots of good feedback and I feel like we do add lots of value with that. So I'm proud of that. Agreed. Even though I try and avoid writing posts <laughs> as much as possible. <laughs> proud of you guys for doing that. <laughs> you done, Vic? <laughs> I don't know, just say anything. It's just, yeah, <laughs> open, open like, table. <laughs> well, I think another thing is, like, I'm super proud of our human-centred design process and how we've, like, really taken that on and I feel like we're becoming, like, pretty well known for it. And I just think it's, like, such an incredible process. Like, I'm super passionate about that and I'm just, like, really proud that we've, like, all taken it on 
and we like keep ourselves accountable to using it for all projects. So that is something I'm always proud about. Um, I'm super proud of our YouTube for some reason. I just love it. <laughs> like every for some reason. <laughs> There's lots of reasons. <laughs> like the YouTube is so good. So for me, I'm like, that is incredible that we have like a library of so much content for people. And I'll listen back sometimes and I'm like, that is so valuable. Like if I need to get refreshed on something, I listen to it and I'm like, oh my God. So I'm very proud of that. <laughs> I second that. I think the conference as well that we did, that was pretty incredible. Like that was three days, I think, of like full on giving out value and like Kim spoke to Chris Doe and Kathy Moore, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, it just shows like we're all so like motivated and passionate about what we do because we literally were like up all night <laughs> <laughs> sleeping, like running it. So that was like cool to see like our passion show through that. Yeah. What about you, Kim? Um, my proudest thing is that we still exist. <laughs> that, <laughs> um, and I think that's a reflection of doing what you're passionate about and choosing to like have that as your job and then being appreciated by a marketplace that has choice so that's one aspect I'm so grateful because like honestly like I there's nothing else I'd rather do um and then the second thing is that I'm super proud of us as a team and to continue to work together and the way that we work together is so special and so unique like I just love our team and I think, yeah, the being proud around attracting like-minded people with similar values, similar work ethic, who are wanting to live a good life together. I think that's pretty unique. Um, so I'm super proud that we've worked out our groove with that and that we just continue to grow as individuals and then as a team and then as a company around that and I just love that we've created the space to do that and to support each other in whatever that looks like for each other and yeah that flexibility around just supporting each other so yeah I'm really proud about that <laughs> love it <laughs> cool. all right well that's nice um Happy birthday, Bell Vista Studios. Thanks, team. Thanks, everyone, for choosing to watch with us. Go check out the link in, not the link, the, well, the links in the description. There's heaps of cool resources that will help you be a better instructional designer, better e-learning developer. It's all of the stuff that we use in the studio. So if you love this stuff, go get those tangible, practical things. Take your skills next level. Invest in yourself. You'll be rewarded for your efforts. Peace out. What's up, awesome human? Thank you, thank you, thank you on behalf of myself and the Bell Vista Studios team for continuously choosing to learn with us. We really appreciate it. If the tips and the insights and the context resonate with you and you want to take your skills to the next level or you want to make your life way easier, you will love our Creator Hub. The Creator Hub is a place for people like you and us, basically, it's the stuff that we use internally at Bell Vista Studios and then we just share it publicly with you. The Creator Hub is created by instructional designers for instructional designers and what you'll love there at the moment is we've got a quiz, Could I Be a Better Instructional Designer, that has so much tips in the feedback if you're interested in human-centered design or just taking your skills to the next level in terms of the solutions you're creating, the problems you want to solve, but in there as well, Aren't we cute? That's us. Um, but we've got the coaching courses, freebies, give us gratitude, and also we've got some templates. And basically they're always around the lens of 
learning experience design, instructional design, and e-learning. So a human-centered design focus is very much what we're about at Bell Vista Studio. So putting your learners at the heart of a solution and creating something for their needs. So there's the human-centered design stuff, and then we've also got the business stuff. So this is the stuff they don't teach you about when you want to become a freelancer or a consultant in the instructional design world. So go check it out. The link is in the description. You can check out everything that is available for you. Thank you for choosing to learn with us. Continuously invest in your skills. You will be rewarded as an instructional designer. Share this stuff, share it with other people because when we are better instructional designers, we create better solutions that create better humans that create a better world. So we have a very important role and I'm excited to be on this journey with you. Have an awesome day.